Stop wearing the wrong jeans. Hello everyone, it's me Serena. Thank you so much for joining me today. I have a much requested video for you guys today. Sorry it took so long for me to get this to you, but I had some delays with getting all the jeans in that I wanted to try. Today is gonna be all about jeans, our different body shapes, what jeans we should be wearing for our body shape, and I'm trying on 15 different pairs of jeans to show you the different fits, how they work, and how they don't for different body types. So if that sounds good to you, keep watching. This video may get a little long, so go ahead and get yourself a cup of coffee, tea, whatever your beverage of choice is, and settle in. Today's video is not sponsored, and I have purchased everything that you see in today's video. I think there's a misconception that some people have that I get gifted all these things that I show on my channel. I do not. All these jeans, all 15 pairs of them, I bought with my own money. Some of them are jeans I already had, some I bought specifically for this video, but everything that you see, I purchased. If there's ever a time that I receive something for free in a video that I'm showing you guys, it's sponsored and I disclose that. But everything you see in my videos, for the most part, I have purchased with my own money. First thing we're gonna do in today's video is I'm going to talk about different body types. Tell you what they are so you can identify what your body type is. Because if you don't know your body type, then it's going to be hard for you to pick which jeans are going to look the best on you. And then I will get in the try on of all the different styles of jeans and I'll touch on, you know, which body types are going to look best in those. First body type we're going to talk about is the apple or round body type. This is characterized by someone who carries the majority of their weight in their midsection. And often, but not always, apple body shapes will have slimmer legs. Some can be rather full in the middle and then have really thin legs, like really skinny, but not always. So you're carrying your weight up here and in the midsection. So what jeans are going to look best on you? The tendency is to wear a pair of skinny jeans to show off the skinny part of your body and then wear a big loose top to camouflage the fuller part of your body. That's not doing you any favors. That emphasizes the thinness of your legs and the fullness of your upper body. You want to balance that out. So for apple body types, you wanna look for something that's high rise and with some tummy control, if you can find it to help hold in that tummy. And you wanna look for a jean leg that is going to help balance out your fuller upper half. So a wide leg jean is gonna work for you. It's going to help balance you out. A boot cut or even a flare because a boot cut and flare flares out at the bottom, gives you a little bit of curve there at the bottom and it balances out your fuller upper body. The second body type is the athletic or rectangular body type. This is someone whose shoulders and hips are roughly the same width, but they don't have a defined waist. If your shoulders and hips are roughly the same width, but you have a defined waist, that's an hourglass. We'll talk about them in a minute. A rectangle is often your more athletic types have the rectangular body where you don't have a really defined waist. So with a rectangular body, what we're wanting to do is add some curve. So for that body type, you're gonna wanna look for something like a flare leg jean or a boot cut or the cropped flares that <laughs> some of you love and some of you hate because it's got that curve in it or even a boyfriend style jean that's a little bit looser and then kind of narrows in at the ankle because that's gonna give you a little bit of shape too if you're more rectangular and don't have a defined waist. Next, we have the inverted triangle body type. And that body type is characterized by shoulders that are broader than your hips. So typically inverted triangle body types are gonna be pretty lean 
in their legs, they're gonna have more narrow hips, and they're gonna have broader shoulders. They may or may not have a lot of waist definition, but the main characteristic is having those shoulders that are wider than the hips. And some athletic types have this body shape as well. For inverted triangles, the biggest thing that you need to do is stay away from skinny jeans because skinny jeans are going to emphasize the discrepancy between your broad shoulders and your narrow hips. So definitely don't wear skinny jeans with a big flowy top. You're really gonna look disproportionate if you're an inverted triangle. So the types of jeans you want to wear are straight leg jeans, flares, and boot cuts. And you can do a slim straight, but I would be careful with that one if you're trying to look proportionate. The next body type we have is the pear-shaped. A pear-shaped body is characterized by wide full hips, thighs, and derriere, and your hips are wider than your shoulders. So if your shoulders are narrow, but you have hips that are wider than the width of your shoulders, you are pear-shaped. Now you may or may not have a full rear end or you may or may not have thick thighs, but often they go together. And again, what jeans should you stay away from if you have that pear-shaped body? Skinny jeans, sorry. <laughs> a pear-shaped body in skinny jeans, the bottom half of you is gonna look like this. You're gonna be shaped like an ice cream cone. And like I said, sometimes we need to wear slim jeans or skinny jeans, but if you're pear shaped, I would just be real careful about wearing skinny jeans and you need to wear straight leg jeans or even a slim straight is better than a skinny. Again, boot cut, wide leg, or flares. And then we have the hourglass. <laughs> Lucky you. You look good in pretty much any style of jean and you can wear any of them. So play that up to your advantage and enjoy wearing whatever kind of jeans you like, no matter the mood. And I should say that no matter what our body types are, wear the kind of jeans that you like and that fit your lifestyle and whatever activity you're participating in. It may not always be feasible to wear a pair of flare jeans or bootcut jeans and a heel, it's just not. But this is just to help you understand if you're trying to look proportionate and look your best, these are the jeans that are gonna help you do it. You may be wondering why I didn't include petite. Well, petite is a body type, but it's more to do with height and frame. You can be petite and be pear-shaped, rectangle, hourglass, inverted triangle. You can have any of those body shapes and be petite or tall. It really doesn't matter about height. It's about the body shape. So let's take a look at some jeans, their characteristics, and who they're gonna look best on. Another thing that's really important, especially if you want to order your jeans online, and if you're petite or tall, we've pretty much been relegated to ordering online if we want to find jeans that are the appropriate length for us. But you have to know <laughs> how to measure your inseam and look at the details online and know what the inseam is of the jeans that you want to buy. Because just because you're under 5'4 doesn't mean that you need a petite jean. It all has to do with the length of your legs. I have a friend who's 5'6", but she has a long torso and she has to get petite pants and jeans because regular length pants and jeans are always too long for her. On the flip side of that, I'm only 5'2", but I have a very short torso and long legs, and oftentimes petite length are too short for me. So you have to know your unique inseam to know how to order. And to measure your inseam, this is what you do. You gotta stand barefooted or in your sock feet, take a measuring tape, and measure from on the inside of your thigh, right up next to your crotch, all the way down to the floor. And you need to be standing up straight when you do this, so you may have to get help from your significant other or somebody to get an accurate measurement. That is your inseam length. So anything longer than that length, you're gonna need a heel to wear or it's gonna be dragging the ground. You wanna look for an inseam that's about two or two and a half inches shorter 
then you're in seam to be right there below your ankle bone. Another tip is to get a pair of jeans that fit you really well and you like where they come to on your leg and just get your tape measure and measure the inseam of those jeans and see what the length is. That'll help you too. In one of my previous videos where I discussed things that make you look cheap, I mentioned that jeans with short zippers look cheap or are cheap and I got so many comments from people saying, a short zipper just means that it's low rise jeans. No, <laughs> if I was talking about low rise jeans, I would have just said low rise jeans, not jeans with a short zipper, because I don't know anyone who refers to low rise jeans as jeans with a short zipper. This is what I'm talking about. I have two pairs of jeans here. They both have the same rise. The measurement here from, from the crotch, to the top of the waistband. This pair is from Gap that you'll see in the video. It has an 11 inch rise and the zipper is eight, or not the zipper, but the fly from the top to the very bottom is eight inches long. These fit beautifully. The stomach area lays nice and flat. There's no weird bunching or anything. They just look nice and fit nice. So this is a pair of high rise jeans that is cheaper. It's by Sofia Vergara from Walmart. And these also have an 11 inch rise, the same. But the fly is much shorter. This is only a six inch fly. So you've got all this fabric down here under the fly till you get to the bottom of the rise. And the problem that that creates is well, if you have wide hips, it makes it hard to pull them up over your hips because you've got such a short zipper. And also it's a cost cutting measure by jean companies because zippers are metal, they cost money. So they'll go with a cheaper zipper to save money. And then you're just left with all this seam here. And I just don't like the way that looks. And then I got a lot of co comments from people saying, oh, I don't go around looking at other women's crotches. Well, neither do I. I'm just saying that when I'm shopping for jeans, when I see jeans with the short zipper, I usually bypass them because inevitably I will put them on and I don't like the way they look. And they're more likely to give you camel toe when you've just got this little seam down here instead of the fly going all the way down. Just so you know. First category of jeans we're gonna look at is boot cut and flare. These, in case you didn't catch it, are pretty universally flattering. If you have wide hips or wide shoulders, the flare at the bottom helps balance you out. Or if you're more straight up and down like a rectangle or have narrow hips like an inverted triangle, the flare at the bottom adds curve. So the first pair I'm showing you is the Gap Baby Boot Cut, and these have this button detail on the front, kind of a sailor look, which is very much on trend for 2024. And these are great. I'm wearing these in a size six regular not petite. These have a 10 inch rise and a 31 inch inseam. So I'm wearing some boots with these and these have a nice amount of stretch. And at 10 inches, they are pretty much high rise on me. They come just to the bottom of my belly button. And if you're someone with a short torso like me, having jeans that are a little bit of a mid rise, like this 10 inch or a nine or nine and a half, that's going to help lengthen your torso. And with these jeans and with all the jeans today, I'm wearing the same blouse. And I did that so you're not confused or distracted by different tops and so that you see the difference in the fit of the jeans. This blouse is from White House Black Market. I will link it along with everything else down in the description. If you need help finding the description box, I'll have it in a pinned comment along with all the links as well. I'll put them in a pinned comment. I have already washed these jeans and they did shrink a little bit. I believe the website says 32 inch inseam, but they're measuring 31 inches now that I have washed and dried them. So keep that in mind. Jeans will shrink a little bit after you wash and dry them. So kind of factor that in too when you're selecting an inseam for your jeans. The next pair is also from Gap and they are the baby boot 
cut jeans again, but these have the traditional pockets. These are a mid-rise. These have a nine and a half inch rise and a 31 inch inseam. Again, these lengthen the legs, they're fitted through the thigh, and they just slightly flare out at the bottom, adding some curve to balance out top heavy figures or add curve to more straight figures like rectangles and inverted triangles. The great thing about both pairs of these jeans from Gap is they are less than $60. And Gap often has sales you know, they'll have special denim sales or sales on their whole website. So check back often, sign up for email alerts or text alerts so you can be notified whenever they are having special discounts or sales. The next ones are the Chico's Girlfriend Flare Jeans. These are $99 regular price and I'm wearing them in a size four regular. They are available in petite and tall as are the Gap jeans. These have a 10 inch rise and a 31 and a quarter inch inseam. These are called flares, but these are definitely just a boot cut. These are not a wide flare, and these are gonna be good for you apple shapes, pear shapes, rectangles, inverted triangle, hourglass. Everybody is going to look good in the flare or boot cut jeans. The thing I'll say about these from Chico's is they run big. I got a size four and I can easily go down to a size two. They are very roomy and they're just a little bit more of a relaxed fit than the Gap jeans. They're fuller through the thighs and the Chico's jeans are very, very soft. So if you're looking for a soft, comfortable jean, I highly recommend any of the jeans from Chico's. The next pair of boot cut jeans, these are from J. Crew, and they are the Demi boot jeans. Now these are actually a crop pair of jeans, but I ordered them in a tall inseam and that fits like more of a full length jean on me. The inseam on these is 28 inches and I'm wearing them in a size 27 or four tall. These jeans are a mid rise. They have a nine inch rise. And again, that mid rise does help lengthen the torso of someone like me who is very short waisted. These are more fitted through the hip and thigh and then flare out at the bottom. So they add some nice curve to a rectangle shape like me or your inverted triangles, or they balance out your pear-shaped bodies. These jeans are a little bit pricey at $138, but again, I would rather have one or two pairs of jeans that cost, you know, $140 than 20 pairs of jeans that cost 20 that don't fit that great, but that's just me. The nice thing about these J. Crew jeans, they have these tummy slimming panels that are sewn in behind the pockets and they really do a great job at slimming and flattening out the tummy area. I mean, it's like magic when you put these on, they really smooth out your tummy. The back of these is also cut in a flattering way. They have nice size pockets and a v-shaped yoke and that helps add curve to someone like me who does have a flatter derriere i used to be hourglass shaped but <laughs> i am more of a rectangle now it seems like everything that used to be in my hips and booty has like migrated up to my midsection so i'm always looking for jeans that help fill out the booty area but these have nice size pockets so that if you are bigger in the rear the little tiny pockets are not going to look look lost on your backside. And these have that nice long eight inch zipper that the nicer jeans have. Next, I have these flare leg jeans. These are a true flare. You can see the difference here between these and the boot cut. They're wider at the bottom. These are fitted through the hips and thighs and then really have an exaggerated flare. These are the Melissa flares from Walmart. They're by Sophia Vergara. And these are pretty good for a cheap pair of jeans. You know, they're less than $30. They have a nice amount of stretch, but they don't stretch out and get saggy. They snap back pretty well, but they have that short zipper. And here you can see the difference I'm talking about. It just ends 
it looks like it ends halfway down my belly and I, I just hate that look. These have a 11 inch rise and the inseam is 32 inches and these are in a size four short. So the Sophia jeans do run long. So even though these are the short length, they are still pretty long at 32 inches. So I have to wear a heel with these, but these are good again for balancing out wide hips, balancing out wide shoulders. They're good for apple bodies because they're high rise and they're good for people like me who need some extra curves. Next up is the wide leg and trouser style jeans. These are the most trending jeans for 2024. The wide legs are everywhere. So I do think you should pull a pair of these into your wardrobe to be on trend this year. And they're super comfortable as well. This first pair is from White House Black Market. They are the high rise wide leg everyday soft jean and they are soft for sure. Let me tell you, they feel so good just like the Chico's jeans. These have a regular price of $99 and I'm wearing them in a size six petite. Now, if I had it to do over, I would have gotten these jeans in a four regular because number one, they are still quite loose on me. And number two, I have washed these and put them in the dryer and they shrank about an inch. That's great for wearing them with flats, like a chunky sneaker or something, but they're starting to look a little bit short on me when I wear them with a boot with more of a heel. These are full through the hip and thigh, so they're gonna be great for you pear shapes, great on hourglass, great for apple body shapes to balance you out, and great for inverted triangles. And they're fine for rectangle shapes. However, if you're someone like me and you have kind of a flat butt, these are not the best look on you, as you can tell by looking at me. Now, these don't look as bad if I wear something out or wear a jacket that covers part or all of my butt, but wearing these with a blouse tucked in just really emphasizes my lack of volume in my backside. These jeans have a 10 inch rise and now that I have washed and dried them, they are a 29 inch inseam. I think they were a 30 inch before I washed them, so they shrank a full inch in the wash. The next pair has a very similar fit. These are from Chico's. These are the Chico's trouser jean and they do fit pretty much exactly like the White House Black Market jeans. They are full through the hips and thighs and have the wide leg. Now in these, I'm wearing them in a size four regular. These jeans have a 10 inch rise and a 31 inch inseam. If you're ordering from Chico's, be sure to size down because this is a four and they are extra roomy on me. So I think a two would have fit me better, but they are that soft, comfortable denim. So if your number one goal is comfort in jeans, Chico's is definitely the way to go. The trade-off is it doesn't have any of those tummy slimming properties like those J. Crew jeans did. So pick your poison. Next in the wide leg category, these are the White House Black Market Trouser Jeans. These have an 11 inch rise and I ordered them in a size four petite. So the inseam is 29 and a half. And if I had this to get do over again, I would have ordered them in a four regular because I do think that the length is gonna shrink when I wash them. So I'm probably gonna exchange these because I do like them. They have these front patch pockets very much on trend. And then they have this neat detailed waistband with the double buttons. And this really helps to cinch in your waist. Compared to the previous two, pairs of wide leg jeans. These are more fitted through the hip and thigh. So I think these are a little bit more flattering on someone like me who is straighter through the hips and doesn't have, you know, a lot going on in the booty department. But I think they would look good on anyone. So you pear shapes, inverted triangles, apple bodies, of course you hourglasses. Everyone can look nice in this silhouette of jeans. I need your help. I'm getting so close 
to 100,000 subscribers, and I would love to hit that milestone. So if you haven't subscribed and you are enjoying this video, be sure to subscribe to my channel. That way you won't miss out on anything here on Style with Serena. And while you're at it, if you're enjoying this video and finding any value in it, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. You can hit the little curved arrow down underneath the video and share it to Facebook or just copy it and send it to a friend. So be sure to share it with someone if you're enjoying this video. Next is the straight leg jean. The past few years, the straight leg jean has overtaken the skinny jean as the most worn jean silhouette because it is pretty universally flattering and it goes with so much. You can just wear the straight leg style with anything and with just about any style shoe. They're very versatile. So the first straight leg jean I'm wearing, these are my mother jeans and they are the Rider. These are actually on the website called the Rider ankle jeans but they are a 28 inch inseam, so they are not an ankle jean on me. If you're taller, these may be an ankle jean, but on me, they're a full length jean. I'm wearing these in a size 28, and they have an 11 inch rise. And as you can see, they have that nice long zipper. These jeans on me are long enough barely that I can wear them with a boot, but I think these look really good with a pair of mules or you could even wear them with loafers or sneakers. But with sneakers, you wanna be careful that the top front part of the jean doesn't lay down on the top of your foot because that's where you kind of veer into frumpy category with jeans and sneakers. If you have a break in your jeans and they start to wrinkle on top of your foot, you want your jeans that you wear with sneakers to be a little bit shorter just to keep that hemline around the bottom clean and not bunching up on anything. These also look really great with pretty much any kind of sandal or pumps. The downside to these jeans is they're expensive. But the good news is you can find straight leg jeans at virtually every price point now. The second pair of jeans that are in the straight leg category, these are from White House Black Market. They're calling these the high rise straight sculpt jeans because they have their sculpt fabric that's supposed to like really, you know, hold you in and, and shape your curves. But <laughs> even though they're called high rise, these only have a nine and a half inch rise on them. So in most categories, that would be considered a mid-rise jean, but on me, they come, you know, just below my belly button. These have a 27 inch inseam. So I think on most people, unless you're petite, these are gonna be an ankle jean. And I like the length of these because I find it very versatile. You can wear it with the sneakers, you can wear it with a sandal, you can wear it with a mule. And these are on sale right now. I don't know if they still are when this video airs, but right now they're on sale for $58. Regular price is right around 100. The nice thing about these is in the back, the yoke, that's the seam that goes across the back of the jeans, is very V-shaped and has a slight little curve to it. And that is good, again, for someone who, like me, needs a little bit more curve in the rear end department. And the pockets are slightly angled as well. So that helps give some lift and curve to your rear. My next jeans that are in the straight leg category, these are by Nick and Zoe. And I wanted these to wear in the spring with sandals and sneakers. So I checked out the inseams and I ordered these in a size four petite because the petite has a 26 inch inseam and I knew that would hit right above my ankle bone, the perfect length for wearing with sandals, wearing with sneakers. These have a 10 inch rise and they have the trendy little front pockets that you're seeing everywhere right now. And I think they're really cute. These come in two different washes. I got the darker wash and these feel amazing. They have a good amount of stretch in them. They're super comfortable. Now again, they are on the pricey side. They're $138. But with all these retailers that have expensive items, they have sales, they have discounts. You just have to watch for them. 
Next, we're moving on to the slim and skinny jeans. Now I'll go ahead and say that at this point in 2024, I think that the only way I would wear skinny jeans, and I have one pair left that are hanging in my closet, the only time I would wear a true skinny jean is if I'm wearing them with some tall boots to tuck into because that is the cleanest look because the rumpled, bunched up look of jeans at the top of boots just isn't a nice look. And I think some people are confusing skinny jeans with the slim fit jeans. So here's the difference. This is a true skinny jean. It is very fitted, tight from the thigh all the way down to the ankle. The, and these are not jeggings, these are a skinny jean. They don't have extra fabric around the knee in the front or in the back, just all very fitted. But this does look nice and neat if you're wearing a knee high boot. What has taken the place of the skinny jean, but some of you may still be calling them skinny jeans, is this. This is the slim jean, or some people call it the slim straight. And it is fitted through the thigh, but it's not skin tight like a skinny jean. And you've got breathing room around the knee, and then it's not skin tight around the calf or at the ankle. You've got some room down there. This first pair of jeans in this category is my overall favorite pair of jeans right now. You've seen it a ton on my channel and you've ordered a lot of them. It's the J. Crew Vintage Slim Jeans. I'm wearing these in a size 24 regular. I have washed these multiple times and they have a nine and a half inch rise and a 26 and a half inch inseam. Now the inseam was longer than that when I ordered them. They have shrunk a little bit, but these are you know, made to be more at that ankle length. They probably were right below my ankle bone when I got them and now they're right at my ankle bone. But these are just so easy to wear. They look good with just about any kind of shoe. They look great with flats. They look great with sneakers and they look really cute with sandals that have a little bit of a heel or even pumps. They just look good with a lot of different shoes. And these come in a lot of different colors dark wash, medium wash, light wash, white, black, any color you want, you can get these jeans. And they are priced at $128, but you can catch them on sale. And like I said, a good pair of jeans, I have always believed is worth every penny that you spend on it. And if you buy the right pair of jeans, you will get a ton of wear out of them and they will serve you well for a very long time. Be sure to comment after today's video and let me know if this video was helpful and what you learned today. The next pair of jeans in this category, these are from Gap and they are the High Rise Vintage Slim Jeans. They have the same name as the J. Crew, <laughs> but these fit a little bit different. These are definitely a high rise. They're an 11 inch rise, so they really snatch you in at the waist. And these have a good amount of stretch too, but they don't stretch out. And they have this nice long fly and it just helps give you that vertical line and really make you look taller and leaner. I'm wearing these in a size six regular, and these have a 27 and a half inch inseam. These regular price are just under $70, but right now, when I'm filming this, they're on sale for 55. These are a little bit more fitted than the previous J. Crew jeans. These are a little bit more fitted through the hip and the thigh, but they're not as skinny because you do have more room around your knee, and they are not, you know, super tight all the way around the thigh and down to the ankle. You've got some breathing room in there. So these are a great jean to wear. If you are, like me, a rectangle shape and you have more narrow hips, having these taper in at the bottom, you know, kind of makes it look like you've got some hips so it can add some curve that way. Now, if you are an inverted triangle, you want to be careful with this kind of jean because it can emphasize your <laughs> inverted triangle shape. Same with a pear shape. You're gonna be emphasizing that cone shape of your lower half if you wear 
these genes. But if you are an hourglass, if you are rectangular or athletic, you can wear these and you can wear these if you're apple shaped too. Just be careful that your top isn't too big and oversized or you're going to look disproportionate with that oversized top and then the skinny jeans at the bottom. And now this jean style, you can wear it with a boot. If it's a big enough boot that you, you know, can put your leg down in it and zip it up and it isn't bunching up your jean at the top of the boot, you, you can wear these with boots. Or if it's a booty, you know, with a very fitted shaft, like a sock booty or something, you can wear these jeans with that kind of booty as long as the top of the booty, the shaft is long enough to go up under the uh, jean and not, you know, be right there bumping into each other. These also look really good with flats, with heels, with sandals, and with sneakers. If you want to see daily outfit inspiration and more from me, be sure you're following me on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, and the Light to Know It app. I'm style with Serena everywhere. If you follow me on any of those platforms, you will see daily content from me. And be sure to subscribe and check out the community tab here on YouTube. I try to post something daily there as well. The next jean style is the crop flares. And I know people feel some kind of way about these jeans. People either think they're cute and like them or, you know, they've had childhood trauma from, you know, being teased for wearing floods back in the day and they hate them. But at any rate, they've been around for a while. They're still here and a lot of people like them and they can be very cute and stylish. Much like the boot cut jeans, the crop flares add curve to rectangular shaped bodies and they add some curve at the bottom to those inverted triangle shaped bodies and they can help balance out the more some of the more top heavy figures any shoe just manages to look good with this jean silhouette and i like them because i never have to worry about the length because they're a cropped length and on me these are hitting like right at my ankle bone the first pair i am wearing is by madewell these are called the kick out crop jeans i'm wearing these in a size 28 regular not the petite length although petite and tall are available these have a 10 inch rise and a 25 and a half inseam these retail for 138 dollars but like i said they often have sales these come in every color and wash you can imagine the ones i'm wearing here are just a medium wash a little bit more casual because they do have the frayed hem at the bottom but not all of them are like that uh, these are just comfortable however i've lost a little bit of weight and uh, the newer version of these that i have i did get in a size 27 and they fit really well these have the tummy slimming panels like the j crew jeans that really help flatten out your tummy and they have stretch but they don't stretch out too much and get baggy throughout the day. My other favorite in this category is the J. Crew Demi Boot. I don't think these flare out quite as much at the bottom as the Madewells. I may be wrong, it just seems like they don't. But I'm wearing these in a size 27. These have a 10 inch rise and a 24 and a quarter inch inseam. These have those magic tummy slimming panels that flatten out your tummy and they have the nice size and shape pockets in the back. They just, I, these are my favorites. My J. Crew slim jeans and these are my two favorite pairs right now. I just absolutely love my J. Crew jeans. But you may be different depending on your body type and how you carry your weight. Another brand that you may find fits you perfectly. A lot of people have great luck with loft jeans. I don't. I've never put on a pair of jeans from Loft that fit me right or were flattering on me. I don't know what it is. They just don't. So you have to try on a lot of different jeans to find the ones that work for you. And I'm sharing what works for me. That doesn't mean they're going to work for everyone universally. You have to do the try on. I really encourage you to get set up your phone and turn on the video and do a 360 of yourself because you will be amazed at how different you look on camera 
than you think you look in the mirror. I know from doing this job that I look much different than I thought I did in the mirror before I started doing YouTube. So even if you have a 360 mirror, there's just something about seeing yourself on camera objectively, not in real time, to really show you how you look and what looks good on you and what doesn't. I know we've covered a lot today. Thank you for sticking with me. I hope this was helpful and I will have all these jeans linked in the description. And pretty much all the jeans that I shared today come in petite and tall. So these brands are great resources for those of us who don't fall in that average height category. Madewell, J. Crew, Chico's, White House Black Market, Abercrombie, Gap, Banana Republic all have petite and tall sizes on their website. So I hope this has helped you learn how to measure and know what to look for when you're ordering your jeans. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I appreciate you. And until I see you in my next video, have a stylish day. Bye.